Retro Rob plays everything. Hey Rob here, and we've got another plug and play for your enjoyment this week. It is the EB VR502 Carl Edwards Racing Plug and Play Steering Wheel. That's right, now you can experience all the joy of NASCAR without any of the wife beating your sister humping of the real thing. You can send your email to drunkenlarry at guysgamesandbeer.net. <sighs> Let's read the synopsis, shall we? Now it's your chance to take the wheel of your own custom stock car and put it against Carl and the rest of the competition. Choose a driver and a color and a number for your car. Then put your skills to the test on any of the 10 different tracks in practice, single race, championship series mode. Seriously, that's how it's written, sorry. Pit your car for fresh tires and fuel or you could be left coasting towards the finish line. Bring the Carl Edwards 16-bit steering wheel home, plug it in, and you'll instantly experience the high-speed action and thrills of stock car racing. Stunning 16-bit graphics and sound. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Enter pit row to refresh tires and refuel. I haven't played it yet. First-person view with rear-view mirror. Point tracker and race results. Keeps track of lap and total time. Suction cups that adhere to surfaces and keep the unit in place. It also has this little, uh, this little guy that opens so you can tilt it forward. If anything, it is a well thought out device. Let's take a look at it. It is very attractive, I think. Uh, it's nice looking. I, I'd put it up against most of the currently produced steering wheels that are for major consoles right now. It's actually really nice. It, this is rubberized. The plastics feel pretty solid, fairly heavy. When you turn, you, you can hear that creak, yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel cheap. It sounds cheap, but it doesn't feel cheap. And it, again, it's fairly heavy. Just in case you're interested, you go through the menus with these guys and the accelerator and brakes are right here and i hear that's a fairly common thing takes four AA batteries and of course it has mono sound so you know you've got to have a component component a composite <laughs> composite out i look homeless today i can just be begging for money now please give me your plug and plays anyway all right so yeah it, i mean it looks it looks pretty attractive. I'm a big fan of racing games. 16-bit might be okay. The only thing I'm worried about is the uh, the first-person view because I generally don't like racers that have a first-person view in it. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to begrudge somebody their first-person view. Just please add me a behind-the-car view so I can look at it. I'm specifically worried if it's a 16-bit system with an in-the-car view because I got a feeling we're going to see, like, you know way back in the day uh what the heck was the name of that game Ugh, not need for speed was it need for speed no test drive i'm thinking test drive i'm thinking like an early test drive i'm thinking like an amiga game here i've seen some screenshots anyway uh, again construction not bad uh yeah it, it seems okay i suppose we should go try and play it and see what happens there Let's go. Okay, so here we are on the main menu. You have three choices. Practice, single race, or championship. We're going to choose single race. Because I've tested this and, uh, well, uh, you'll see in a minute. Alright, so to select things in the menu, you use these guys here. And then you can hit start to start the race. Uh, you can pick your racer. You'd think that you could, you know, use the steering wheel to do this stuff, but I, I don't know. For whatever reason, uh, it has you do it this way. So, so then you can you can change the name if you want to type in your name or a car number. You can change both those things. I'm not going to do that because it's kind of a pain in the neck. Uh, we'll do a yellow car because my wife loves yellow. 
And let's see. As you can see, there's plenty of very exciting tracks. Uh, we'll go with that one. We're definitely not going to do that many laps. Medium's fine. Oh, God, no, not the music. All right, there we go. And uh, here we go. There was a game on the Amiga that looked a lot like this. I think it was called Crazy Cars. Except you could actually oh, you could actually see your car. There we go. Oh jeez, come on. Ah. You hear that creaking? Those aren't my joints, folks. So somebody's way ahead. Oh, get off the side here. How do I tell how my tires are? I don't really see it. Oh, there they are. Up on top, there you go. Tires and fuel. Come on. We can do this. Now this is walking a little bit on the table, but that is largely because of the fact that my table has a little bit of texture to it. If this were a flat table, it would stick pretty well. In fact, I stuck it to a chair earlier and it really didn't want to come off of there, so. So I don't know, that was just a dangling comment. I'm in second, I'm in first! On lap three. Here we go. Oh, oh no. Do I actually see anybody in the rear view? Yep, there we go. Yes, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I am a big old winner. So, what's the verdict on this guy? Well, um, I like the construction quality. Even though it was creaking, it really did feel pretty decent. And I know it was sliding during the demo, but if this wasn't like a porous tabletop, it would have been fine. Just saying, it, it sticks pretty well to stuff. That said, uh, the racing game itself is really the problem here. Uh, it's this You can do 16-bit racing, I'm sure, and make it fun, but this engine's not a whole lot of fun. I mean, it's got a bit to it. It's got a career mode. It lets you change colors. I mean, that's okay. It's basic, but the racing itself is mm, kind of unexciting. They could have probably used like an open source engine or something and really got themselves a decent race out of it tied to this for very cheap. So I wonder kind of, I wonder why more plug and plays don't do that kind of thing. I mean, maybe not open source, but something with a license you can, you know, reuse and uh, redistribute. Anyway, uh, all in all, you know, come to find out half the fun was the wife beating and the sister humping. No, really, I don't mean that. Maybe the sister humping. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos